self study and experience is going to give you so much and if it feels good in your body to study from someone else to learn those skills of course listen to that inner intuition but what i love is finding your own unique philosophies and the way in which you've lived your life you look at your life as this experience wheel where your lessons have been shifting the beliefs that you have and the becoming challenge invites you to question those beliefs it allows you to question what it is that you're doing and is that actually in alignment with who it is that you want to be your life is created in the mind your external reality has been from seeds that you've been watering within your thoughts the more aware that you can become of your thoughts the more in control of your emotions you will be and one who has the ability to master the emotion of a human is one that can master anything, to do the challenging things, to lean into fear, to have those hard conversations. And it all comes with practice. And especially for an entrepreneur or someone in business, there is so much unpredictability but your ability to lean in to the uncomfortability is on the other side where the growth lies. And when you can hold space for yourself in those moments, you're gonna have massive power, skills, and strengths to hold that for your clients. Or if you're just a mom, or you're a friend, for your friends, for your children. It's who do you want to be? This is the underlying question of my, my work for you, for us, for me. In your life, as a human, who do you want to be? You and yoga, we believe, we speak on dharma. What is your life's work? What is your passion? What is your purpose? You were born with a gift. You were born with heart. You were born with skills. And there is work for you to do in this world. What is it? Who is it that you want to become? And as you dive into the different themes and philosophies that we go through in the Becoming Challenge, you get more and more clear. As you implement the practices, the energy awakening through Kundalini, the rituals where you put really divine intention into the things that you do and then you weave this into your business strategy you will be the living breathing embodiment of your work which is what makes you become a magnet a magnet to attract your soulmate your best friends your clients it's because of who you are. And that comes from being able to master action, emotion, thoughts. So what is it that you're doing today that is supporting who it is that you want to become in your life and in your business? And when you let the question, how do I want to live my life, be what leads your business, you aren't going to be working another day in your life, right? There's that saying, you'll never work another day. I work every single day. My husband takes my child to grandma's house and for four to five hours, I'm on the computer. What is it that I do? I grow, I grow my audience by becoming visible. I nurture my audience, like recording this podcast, coming live on Facebook. I sell, I invite you into my sexy sacred services where I want to give you what I've mastered. And so what is it that you want to give your clients? What is it that you want to give your family members? Through the energy work, 
through the contemplation, through sitting with your thoughts, through ritual and asking yourself these questions, you become a frequency and that's who you're being. It's not about where you get to because when you get to where it is that you desire to go right now, you're gonna wanna go somewhere else because when you arrive to where you desire to be right now, you're going to be another person. So in the void of where you are now and where you desire to be, in your evolution and the process of your becoming, who do you want to be right now? It's in the smallest micro moments of everything that you think, that you say, and that you do that allows you to become, to become. Ask yourself, What's moving you towards what you want? What's moving you away? Where are you staying comfortable? Where are you playing small? Where are you moving away from what you want because of fear, doubt, judgment, imposter syndrome? And where can you stand up and get bigger? Because it takes one thing to become who you desire to be. And it is consistency consistency in your thoughts your words your actions until you master business is something that you learn to master serving your clients showing up online growing nurturing selling your audience is something that you learn to master what do you want to master this year what do you want to practice and to know that this life that you're creating is by your own design, quoted from the Grateful Dead. You get to design your own life. How? Where will you break the rules? First, learn the rules. Learn the rules. I spent years studying, learning business. And last year, I broke so many of the rules that I was told. And this last year, I was able to help my clients break the rules that I've broken. And that's how I found deep fulfillment in my purpose and my soul's work, is through listening to the whispers of my soul, the ones that just kept getting bigger and bigger. And now my invitation for you is to listen. Listen to what's coming through and forward for you. What would I focus on if I was just getting started my thoughts, my words, my actions? What would I focus on if I was just getting started in my business? Grow, nurture, sell. Both of these, human being and business, take consistency to master the skill. Where can you lean into looking at your thoughts, looking at your words? Noticing how your thoughts start to provide a frequency and then tapping into that frequency, becoming aware of that frequency and noticing that the more that you think about, let's do it together. If you're in a safe place to do this with me, close your eyes and ask yourself, like, who do you want to become? And I want you to create an I am statement. I am. And then you fill in the blank of who you want to become. It can be, I'm going to give you a few examples and then you're going to plug and play. I am lovable. I am abundant and rich. I am wealthy and healthy. I am fully booked. I am a wildly successful entrepreneur making massive waves in the world. Now, I want you to create one to two I am statements, and I want you to focus on that mantra, that affirmation again and again and again and again in your mind until it starts to provide an energy of feeling in your body.
Mm. And then if you have the ability now to open your eyes and just notice what those couple of minutes can do for you. Do this at night. Before you go to sleep, I am so grateful for the things that occurred today and shift your awareness into the energy and really allow the shift from I am grateful for to become a feeling in your body as you go to sleep at night. And when you wake up in the morning, set an intention. I feel organized and clear. I am celebrating in the morning. Create those energies in the morning and at night and begin to program your future self of becoming. These practices are all in the becoming challenge if you haven't already started. If you started and you fell off, hi, welcome, you're human, you're not alone. You're with dozens of others that have signed up for this and not completed it. I am here to hold you, whether it's January, May, or December, whether it's 2023 or 2026, this becoming challenge is for you to come back to again and again and again. Because changing who you're becoming is a lifelong process, not a New Year's resolution. It's not. It's in the micro moments of your day-to-day -day actions, in your conversations with yourself, that little mini dialogue that's happening all day long, 60,000 thoughts a day, 90% of those thoughts are repeated. What do you want to repeat? What energy do you want to put out in the world? And who the heck are you going to choose to become? Stay connected with me. I am loving this. Like yesterday, I got a message from one of my clients. Her third booked out workshop using some of the processes that we work through together. Just how she resonated with my work and was like, I want to keep working with you. I have many other mentors and coaches, but there's something about you that I resonate with. <laughs> there I was walking on the beach crying with my son. Another woman just messaged me like, I loved working with you. I just read your article in Authority Magazine. I can't wait to keep working with you. And I thank you for the reminder that this business is one day at a time. I'm just like, the work that I do in the world is like, I know what it feels like to turn impossible into possible. When I was mastering handstands, it was getting onto my mat every single day and practicing handstands. When I was learning how to become financially free, it was reading books and listening to YouTubes and saving money and getting into the frequency of what it meant to create more. When I wanted to build my business, it took years of being with mentors and showing up online. I've been showing up online since 2012. Consistency leads to mastery. Who you want to become is a moment to moment action and let's do this freaking together. If you are still here listening, watching, it's because you feel this. And I want to know, tag me, share it, say hi. If you're not already in the Facebook group community, active and saying hi and making friends, the women in this group are going to be your besties. They come on retreats together. They work in this mentorship together. They meet here in this program. They listen to this podcast and then they share it. Like be seen. That's part of it. Like getting uncomfortable being seen, sharing your opinion, just jumping out and being like, I'm here. I want to be known. I want to be recognized. I want to be seen. I want to be visible. It's claiming those things and knowing that each one of us was born a seed planted inside the womb of our mother with a dharma, with a gift, with passions, with a purpose. And your job as a human is to own that, is to keep stepping into it. It's not just one day I decide to be a better human and I am. It's not just one day I decide to be a business owner and I am. It's not just one day that I decide to work on my ass, sorry. <laughs> it's not just one day that I wanna work on a handstand or learn to surf. Whatever it is that you desire in your life, it is through consistency that leads to mastery. They say to master something, it takes 10,000 hours. Before I ever hear you say or you tell someone else 
I can't do this, it didn't work for me. I'm not good at that. I want you to ask yourself and be honest, did I go all in for 10,000 hours? And then after you answer that question with full satya, truthfulness, then you can say, that didn't work for me. But I can promise you with every ounce of my soul that if there is a desire inside of you to become something, it's because that desire is calling you. It's calling you home. It's leading you forward. Your soul is taking you on a journey and your human decision is whether you answer the call. And if you give all that you have, to the long-term vision, to 10,000 hours, you will have, you will become who it is that you desire to be. There's no doubt in my mind. I'm rooting for you, I'm cheering you on, and I can't wait to go deeper with you. I will talk to you next week, same time, same place. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And as always, if this brings value to you, you know there's someone in your world that needs this, be sure to share. Share on your social media outlets. Share with me in a private DM. However you wish to share, get it out there. Let yourself be seen and heard. If you are someone that's like, I really want to know if I can grow my business, if I can take a business idea and turn it into something, but you're not sure what, go to amberhagberg.com slash fully booked and you'll be able to join my two-day workshop on how to build a brand on how to build a business around your gifts around your passions in the same way that i did in the same way that i teach my clients this eventually will be a paid workshop so get in amberhagberg.com slash fully booked sign up and if you're already growing your business and you just want to mastermind, you just want to get into the room with other people to share your wisdom, share your ideas, share your knowledge, knowing that a mastermind is a co-creation, that anything that you want, nothing's off the table. Then shoot me a private message about the Magnetic Leadership Mastermind, and I would love to see if that's a good fit for you. Either way, have yourself a beautiful day. I love you so much, and I'll see you next week.